Court is calling 2015 CR 1686A, State of Texas versus Selena Ann Pettis. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Hank Wilkins for the state. Defense? Brad Thornton for defense. And are you Selena Ann Pettis? Mm -hmm. Showing you what's entitled motion to enter adjudication of guilt and revoke community supervision and state's motion to supplement pending motion to enter adjudication of guilt and revoke community supervision. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes. Are you the same Selena Ann Pettis who was placed on deferred adjudication in 2015 CR 1686A for the offense of possession with intent to deliver a controlled substance? Penalty group one, four grams to 200 grams on August 31st, 2015 for a period of five years. Is that you? Yes, ma'am. All right, state. Violated condition number five. In Bear County, Texas, the defendant, Selena Ann Perez, did then and there fail to report to the supervision officer for the months of February, March, and April 2019 in violation of condition number five. Is that true or not true? That's true. And Your Honor, we waive and abandon the other violations. Any objections? No objection. Did you understand by pleading true to violation of condition number five, the court could find it true, grant the motion, fine you guilty, and sentence you up to life in prison and up to ten thousand dollar fine? Yes, ma'am. Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number five? Yes, ma'am. Court's going to find violation of condition number five true. Counsel, I need you to fill out the trial court certification of defendant's rights to appeal form. Uh, Sorry. Oh, no problem. All right. Is there a proposed agreement? There is, Your Honor. Uh, uh, we are asking you to uh, find the defendant guilty uh, and, and uh, the state will take into consideration cause number NM720021 uh, and sentence the defendant to five years TDC. All right. Cause number 720021. Yes. What is that charge? That's um, uh, pos uh, possession in a uh, possessing a prohibited substance in a correctional facility. Right. Are you asking the court to follow this agreement? Yes, ma'am. Are you waiving your right to appeal? Yes, ma'am. In defense, is this the agreement? It is. All right. Could you raise your right hand for me, please? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth? So help you God. Yes, ma'am. You can lower your hand. State your name for the record. Selena Bettis. All right. Why are you not reporting for probation? I just had some, um, my, my children, my daughter had a baby and I had to help her because of. How does that exclude you from being able to pick up the phone and report to probation? I made a mistake, ma'am. I, I understand that I made a mistake. That's why I'm willing to. Nope, you didn't make a mistake. You made a choice. Let me explain to you. Yeah. What's the difference between a mistake and a choice? Let's say I come to court. I have a black umbrella because it's raining outside. I know it's going to rain outside. The person sitting next to me has a black umbrella. And when I leave the court, I grab my umbrella because I know it's raining outside. I go outside. I open the umbrella to protect myself from the rain. And I look underneath the umbrella and my initials are not there. That's a mistake. I mistakenly took the wrong black umbrella. Let me tell you what a choice is. I don't know it's going to rain. My mom hasn't called me and said, Stephanie, it's going to rain. Be sure to take your umbrella. And I come to court and I'm sitting next to somebody who has an umbrella and people are saying, "Ooh, it's raining outside. And I say, curses, I don't have my umbrella, but I don't want to get my hair wet. And I just take somebody's umbrella and I go outside. You know what that is? That's a choice. That's not a mistake. So you didn't make a mistake. You made a choice. So why did you choose not to report to probation? I speak with my attorney now. Oh, sure. Yes. Sorry, I'm scared. Uh, I was scared at the time, same as I am right now. Okay, you're whispering and I can't hear you. I, said I was scared at the time, same as I am right now. Scared of what? You were supposed to report. Yes. So what are you afraid of with reporting? Of being back here. That makes no sense to me. If part of your conditions is for you to report, you report. Yes. So what is the fear of reporting? I, 
I don't have a fear reporting. All right. All right. Is there anything else? Have you done? Has she done anything on probation? Yes. Have you done anything on probation? I've done some, yes, ma'am. What have you done? Um, I mean, I know it doesn't show like as far as um, the narcotics, but I, the, the classes, but I did do some of the classes. I, I did need to do the community service, which I mean, of course, I'd be, I know it's not an option at this point, but I, I was will, willing to do probation and whatever I needed to do. So what classes are you saying you've done? Just the uh, Narconics and, and Alcoholics Anonymous. Oh, so you've done AA meetings. Yes, ma'am. The programs that were listed originally, no, none of those were completed. Okay. All right. This is what the court is going to do. The court is finding violation condition number five true. The court will find you guilty. The court will sentence you to eight years in the prison and give you credit for any time served. And taking consideration, nightmag number 720021. If you would like, I would have you recommended for the therapeutic community. It doesn't increase the time that you're in custody, but they will be able to help you with any drug issues you say that you have. Would you like the court to refer you for that? Um, yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, and I'll ask for the therapeutic community. However, I have no jurisdiction to force them to place you in the therapeutic community, but they most definitely will not place you in the thera therapeutic community if you do not ask for it. All right, I'm going to show you what's entitled trial court certification of defendant's rights to appeal. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. And did you sign it? Yes. You do have a limited right to appeal. That right to appeal is as it relates to the allegations in the motion, not the fact that you are in deferred adjudication. Do you understand? Yes. All right, we can go off the record. Uh, you are going to have to do better with your life. Yes. Otherwise, you're going to continue to be back here. All right, and I'm sorry, one more thing on the record. Because this is a felony conviction, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. If you have a question over what a weapon or ammunition is, we need to speak to an attorney. You understand? Yes, ma'am. All right, good luck to you. Do better. Thank you. Davis Viegas. All right, and are you all ready to proceed? No, Judge. Uh, I was going to ask the court to give us a little bit of time. I visited with my client along with probation and the state. Um, there is some potential information that I need to try to gather from him and his family uh, regarding illnesses uh, that he was receiving treatment for that might have an impact on the disposition on this case. So I was just asking for two weeks. Um, what are the court feels is reasonable? It is our first setting. Uh, and like I said, we're, uh, I believe we'll be ready after that. In terms of disposing of this case. Norma? Yes, ma'am. On this case, can you put this for Monday? Monday? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Judge, right. I'm gonna, I, I respectfully judge, I want to be in a family law conference all next week. So if we could do the um, uh, Friday or Monday of the following week, I'd be very appreciative. All right. Well, if you want to call the family and speak to them about what his issues are. He was apparently he was involved in a shooting judge. Uh, and that was part of the reason why he had an inability to, to uh, participate in some of the random drug testing. I was just going to try and see if I could get some of those records from his uh, sister 
All right. If he, when you say he was involved in a shooting, are you saying he was shot? He was a victim. He was not uh, a party. Were the police called? I believe so. I have to all right. So it's easy for the state to look that up. So state, you all want to look that up? Yes, sir. And people can Google. Everybody puts everything on Google now, and they'll be able to say that he was shot, and they'll be able to show what day he was shot. If he called the police. The police were called, ma'am. Uh, I was rushed to SAMC. I was I was uh, shot in my back. I was going to buy some cupcakes from the store. And no, was... no, no, just, just one second. That's what I'm saying. It will be in the system. Okay. Yeah. All right. And the only other thing, Judge, is he does also want to have a little bit of time to consider those plea options that we or recommendations, I would say. All right. So, so you can sit in the box and consider it, but they'll be able to look it up and see when you were shot. If you call the police and you're saying you call the police, it should be on Google and it should also be in their system. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right. Thank you. Thank you Judge. Who's here on uh, Tamor McIntyre? Good morning, Your Honor. John Good morning. Gilmore on behalf of Mr. McIntyre. All right, so where are we on discovery? Judge, just to let you know, there's a pretty much of a mountain of, uh, there's seven boxes. Okay. Of, uh, not necessarily all the case in chief, I guess, I mean, the actual event, but mm -hmm. there's several different uh, letters and, and other things uh, that uh, I've talked to Mr. Jerry Goldstein that was part of the defense team mm -hmm. earlier or yesterday. I know he's out of town along with John Hunter who's having his first child or second child, I believe, mm -hmm. or his wife is rather. Okay. And uh, so I am in conference with them. Uh, so discovery is still not up to spec yet. So go now, please. I, 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 be taking photos. Step outside, sir. I think Thank another you. setting. Oh, just one second. Who's taking photos? This gentleman right here, sir. Excuse me. Could you all divide a little bit? Who are you? Uh, my name is Gibbs. All right, and why are you taking photos in the court? I'm sorry, I should have been. Divided. No, my question is not, I'm sorry. My question is, why are you taking photos in court? Um, I was just being focused. All right, and what's your full name? My full name is Gabriel Lovell. All right, do you have any cases pending in this court? Um, I, I'm here for uh, MTR, court date. Did somebody look him up and see if he has a motion to revoke? He does. It's kind of witness. Attorney. All right. So who are you taking photo of? Um, uh, Without their permission. Yeah, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. No. It. Who? Uh, nobody. I'm sorry. No. You're going to show your phone to the deputy, and you're going to erase that photo you took. Do you understand? Yes. Sorry about that. All right, so if I reset this for 60 days, is that enough time or do y'all need more time for discovery? Well, I, I, here's the I, thing, I, ask, yeah. ask for your hopes, wishes, and dreams. And yeah, then, that's one thing. I, so and I then we'll see where we're at. 60 days, I can confer with the defense team and, and, and get to uh, where we probably need to get and have an answer to you in 60 days your honor all right see i was going to give you guys 90 days but since you say you only need 60 well that's i know it. i profusely lie but my timeline as as Grover mentioned i i am terrible with timelines yes okay <laughs> and if it were mr goldstein's choice he would prefer the 90 days but it's whatever the court would prefer we did have a motion uh, on file requesting 60 days um so that's perfectly fine with us your honor all right so Morning, Your Honor. All right. Are you all ready to proceed? Uh, yes, Judge. Sure. Court is calling 2020 CR 5322C, State of Texas versus Angela Gonzalez. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Daniel Escobar from the State of Texas. Defense. Larry, Larry Blumquist for the defense. Are you Angela Gonzalez? Yes, ma'am. Showing you what's entitled Motion to Revoke Community Supervision. Did you review that with your attorney? Yes, Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. Are you the same Angela Gonzalez who was placed on community supervision in 2020 CR 5322C for the offense of robbery on November 19, 2020 for a term of five years? Is that you? Yes, sir. State? 
violated condition number one on or about the 31st day of March 2022 in Bear County, Texas, the defendant Angela Gonzalez committed the offense of assault in violation of condition number one. How do you plead to that? True or not true? Sure. Uh, Your Honor, state waives all the violations. Any objections to the waivers? No, Your Honor. All right. Did you understand by pleading true to violation of condition number one, court could find it true, grant the motion, sentence you up to five years in prison and up to a thousand dollar fine. Did you understand? Yes. Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number one? I um, yes, can't hear. Yes. Court will find violation of condition number one true. Is there a proposed agreement? I guess, Judge, is to continue the defendant on probation to add a no contact order with the victim in the assault case. Uh, to add in anger management and MRT, and she's also going to take the in the misdemeanor case to run concurrent with this one. And that's county court cause number, sorry, I had it in front of me, 709518. All right, probation. Has she done anything on probation other than commit a new offense? Yes, Your Honor. Our UAs um, for the last year at least have been negative. There has been a couple of diluted. Um, she did finish the outpatient program. She completed her parenting class. And um, she did obtain her high school diploma. All right. What is this assault about? Judge, there was a... Uh, uh... Her, there's her boyfriend's daughter, who her she is, her, his, her boyfriend's sister, who she is, right now my client, is her primary caretaker, she was involved in a fight at school, and my client, uh, instead of breaking the fight, she didn't punch that young lady, and I think that- So students are in a fight, she goes to the school, and she- There are some parents trying to break up the fight, and my client- starts to try to break up the fight, but loses her tool and punches the young lady. And when you say young lady, are we talking about a child? I would guess, yes. I don't know her exact age. I think she's about 15 years of age. Okay. And what I would just tell the court, and if you want me, I can call my client as a witness. Yes, person. let's do that. Okay, let's do that. Can you, raise your sure. can you raise your right hand? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth will help you, God? Yes, you can. You can lower your hand if you state your name for the record. Angela Gonzalez. All right. So what have you learned since you've been on probation? Honestly, Judge, I learned a lot. I'm glad that uh, you put me on probation the first time. I was able to get my diploma, and I actually got better jobs within the years that I've been on probation because of my diploma. My, I, I was I, Because of you, I'm able to see my other two kids that originally the kid's grandma wouldn't allow me to. We have a better bond. I get to see them every Sunday, and she lets me take them to the park, to sit with them and be with them birthdays, holidays. That's something that I didn't have before you put me on probation, and I really want to say I appreciate that. Right now, I did learn a lot. Just me having to take care of my sister-in-law as well, it made me grow up a lot just because my husband's mom suffers from seizures and strokes. So that put me on a higher level to where I need to be focused on my kids. It's not about anything else but my kids. I want them to have a better, better life than what I'm going through right now. They don't deserve, they don't deserve for me to be here and then me missing, missing out of their lives on all four of my kids. I do, I just recently ha uh, had a baby, he's nine months. So I mean- and Who's just, with your baby now? Um, my sister's friend's mom. She's helping me babysit right now. So, I mean, I just hope that you see that I did learn from this past years. I've been coming out clean again because of you, uh, Judge. I stopped smoking and it honestly, everything just bettered my life. And this was an honestly mistake. I did went to the school and I did talk to the principal. Not a mistake, it was a choice, right? A choice, my bad. 
I did talk to the principal. Um, we tr I tried to have a meeting with the other girl's mom. And like I said, I, at the time I was pregnant, it, it's like, it, it was a choice, not a mistake. And, and let me just clarify that. Judge, can I just ask you one question about no, that? Let me, let me okay. hear. Yes. The school was just not taking that step to where she had to walk out of school campus to come home crying to us. We sent her back home thinking it was going to be the right thing, but it turned out to be not the right thing. In my opinion, I should have just left her home and none of this would have happened. And I messed up. I, I honestly did. And I just hope that you, you give me a second chance and let me prove you and everybody wrong. And, and the point I wanted just to make clarify for the judge is, uh, Your Honor, she had actually reported that her daughter, or the, the girl who she considers her daughter, was being bullied after school by these several girls. And she had been reporting that to the school and they hadn't taken any action. And unfortunately, I think one thing I just tell the court is I've had extensive conversations with Angela. She's an extremely great person. She's made some bad decisions. And one of the things that I've been talking to her about is her need to make better decisions. And she's doing a lot of great things. Uh, you know, unfortunately, she had this horrible decision that she made that's put her in front of you. And I can tell the court, I feel like she's very, very remorseful for what's happened. I think she's realized that not only has she put herself in peril, but she's with the kids that she's caring for. What steps have you taken with the school? She doesn't, uh, she longer doesn't go to that school. It was a middle school. She's, uh, I just enrolled her in Highlands High School. Okay. So, I mean, right now that school is out of my, I will never put my kids in that school just because they don't know how to take steps on how to protect your students. All right, State. So Judge, we were able to talk to the complainant in that case's family. Uh, it was very difficult getting a hold of them, but we were able to do that earlier this morning. I did explain what our options were. They did indicate that they were okay with this approach. I told them exactly what I was going to do. Um, I don't know any of the claims of bullying. None of that came forward through the police reports or anything that we had available. So I can't substantiate that. All right. So this is what the court is going to do. Court do, will deny the motion, alter the main conditions, uh, probation, either anger management or MRT, not both. Yes. So whichever one probation feels would fit best for her, that's the one we would go with. Yes. All right, is there anything else you need from the court? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm asking her, I, I hope you don't need, do you need anything else from me, counsel? No, no, I, no, I, I, just, we just, I wanted to just thank the court because I, I believe that she's gonna do well. And, and I think that I just wanna thank the court. Oh, you're welcome. Well, based upon what probation is telling me, she is doing well. So you need to continue doing what you're doing. You understand? Thank you so much. Is there anything else you need from the court? I All right. promise you won't see me again. Judge. All right. Well, I can see you again if you completed everything and maybe you want to get off early. Yes. Yes. I was just going to ask for that. No contact with the All right. And who's the complainant? Her name is the only other thing. This is just a run concurrent with the misdemeanor case. Yes. All right. And I'm going to make a scheduled judge to get lead on that as soon as possible. All right. What is the cost number, Matt? That's CC709518. 508 518 and state we're off the record and state that you inform them downstairs what their plea should be so i did put a note in the system exactly the details of the length of probation what type of probation the other uh conditions i did say standard conditions so oh. they should know what to do all right thank you thank you, thank you so much you, you, you too you too cr one two two seven State of Texas versus Anthony Lee Davis. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Travis Banks for the state of Texas. Defense? Kurt Hopke for the defense. Are you Anthony Lee Davis? Yes. Showing you what's entitled motion to revoke community supervision. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Also showing you first amendment motion to revoke community supervision. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes. Are you the same Anthony Lee Davis who was placed on community supervision in 2022 CR 1227 for the offense of evading arrest detention with a vehicle on June 28, 2022 for a term of seven years? Is that you? Yes, State? Violating condition number four in Fair County, Texas, the defendant Anthony Lee Davis did then and there fail to report to the supervision officer as directed for the months of July. August, September, 
2022 in violation of condition number three. How do you plead to that? True or not true? True. State? Your Honor, uh, the agreement proposed to the court. Now, the other allegations? Uh, the state will waive and abandon the other allegations. Any objections? No, Judge. All right, did you understand by pleading true to violation of condition number four, court could find it true, grant the motion, sentence you to seven years in prison and up to a thousand dollar fine. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number four? Court will find violation of condition number four true. Is there an agreement? Yes, Your Honor. The agreement submitted to the court um, is that the motion be denied and that the defendant be continued on probation and that the conditions be altered and amended uh, such that uh, he have GPS on release and um, uh, make evaluation while in custody and a pre-screening for the misdemeanor mental health coverage. Is that the agreement? Yes, Judge. Mr. Davis, are you asking the court to follow that agreement? Please. All right, the court will follow your agreement, deny the motion, alter the main conditions to include full GPS upon release and whether or not it's going to be full continuously, you need to come back to the court on that. There's gonna be a MIC evaluation and a pre-screening for misdemeanor mental health court and that's to be done while he's in custody. Is there anything else from either side? Nothing further from the state. Yes. Not on this case, Judge, but he does still have a open assault case that is gonna be the one that will be reduced to a misdemeanor uh, so that we can do the mental health court. Um, I guess we can reset on that case. Yes. To, and deal with everything on that day. All right, Ms. Ferguson, can you give a 30 day reset on that case? And if he's back sooner than that, then you can come back sooner than that. Thank you, Judge. You're welcome. What date, Ms. Ferguson? August 31st. All right, we'll come back on August 31st. I can't do August 31st, Judge. Why not? I'll be in Houston. Doing I have what? A, uh, a motion to adjudicate hearing there as well. All right, you can appear by Zoom. That's what we do here. Okay. All right, we'll have you Thanks. back on August. 31st. Mr. Davis, it is very important that you remain in contact with probation. You understand? Yes, ma'am. All right. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. That's perfect, Judge. All right. August 31st. Mr. Gobert, you were late. Next time you're late, things may end up going differently. You may end up in custody awaiting to hear your case. You understand? Yes, ma'am. There's not to be any photography in the courtroom. You understand? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right. They'll give you a reset form and we'll see you back on August 31st. All right. Thank you, Judge. You're welcome.